Hey, Doug McKnight here from Hatch Finders Fly Shop in Livingston, Montana. I'm going to show you guys a damsel nymph I designed a few years ago uh, called the Road Warrior Damsel Nymph. Um, first thing I'm going to do is take a TMCO 2488H, size 12. It's a uh, thick wire hook, and I encourage everybody who fishes uh, lakes for trout to tie their flies on, on heavy duty hooks. Um, going to use some, some olive uh, thread and just going to give that shank a coat. All right. The first thing I do is cut a piece of uh, pearl core braid. This is kind of a neat material um, and we're going to use this for the abdomen um, of the damsel nymph. But the first thing we're going to do is it's got a cord inside there and then it's like a hollow mylar tubing almost. So I'm going to take that core out and just toss it. Um, and then I'm going to take a lighter and just singe the end a little bit just so it doesn't come undone. And you end up with this right here. Um, just singed at one end. Next I'm going to take a threader. It's just a, a folded over piece of thin wire and I'm going to send that through that hollow tubing. Once you find the hole, it slides right in. And then I'm going to exit the tubing back by where it's burnt, right there. So just like that. And I take some olive ostrich hurl. Damselfly nymphs have a pretty distinct tail to them. They almost look like uh, little flippers. And when these guys hatch out up here in Montana, it's usually uh, sometime in June, sometimes as early as late May, but they'll usually start in June. And uh, if you're lucky enough to be out there on a lake when these damselflies are hatching, there are a lot of times fish that are eating nothing but these things, and they really do key into them. Um, so I'm going to take three strands of ostrich hurl. I'm going to open up that threader. I'm going to stick those three ostrich hurls in there, just like that. So we've got our, our little mylar tube there. Um, and what we're going to do next is just kind of hold on to the mylar tube and gently pull the ostrich hurl through, just like that. Then I usually trim the ends of the ostrich hurl to maybe uh, you know, a little less than a quarter of an inch. So you got a nice little, almost, almost little pout, uh, paddle tail. And you can cut the excess of the ostrich hurl off. So that's the little body you're left with. You know, um, it's maybe in total about three quarters of an inch long or so. And we're going to tie that in. right at the barb. Just like that. Next we're going to take a couple of uh, olive turkey biots and we're going to make a, a wing case. Just take two of them, lay them right on top those two should be tied back to the barb, just like that. Next, we're just going to take some, some synthetic dubbing, um, just some olive synthetic dubbing. We're just going to go up and dub a thorax. good there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some monofilament dumbbell eyes. And with a couple of figure eights, we're going to install those right behind the eye of the hook. All right. 
Then we're going to take those two turkey biots and tie those off right behind the eyes first. Just like that. And then we're going to move our thread up to in front of the eye of the hook, pull the rest of the biots over, and then move the thread to behind the eyes, and then pull them over once again. And that makes a nice little kind of head in between those eyeballs. And then just trim the excess. And lastly, we're going to take um, just some ringneck pheasant body feathers. Just going to take one of them. And these are dyed olive. When you think of damsel nymph, you almost automatically think of olive. But this, this pattern uh, fish is very well tied in a dark brown, a tan, or even a brighter green like a chartreuse. So what we did, let me back up there for a second, is just clipped a little bit of that, uh, you know, maybe five or seven fibers of the, the pheasant feather. And we're just going to tie those in, pointing back like legs. You know, maybe slightly longer than the thorax. Trim off the excess. Go right to the whip finisher. And there you have the Road Warrior Danzel. Definitely takes a little bit of time to tie, um, but as far as realism goes when trying to match these damsel nymphs to maybe some bigger, pickier fish, this fly does, uh, does really well. Um, tie a few up and, and give it a shot.